Welcome back to Toledo's Most Local Naughty M Show. Good day. Wednesday is Knit Along Day, and we say thanks to those of you who have sent in some very adorable projects for us this week, like Linda Morford. She has a German theme going on here. She's knitted Lederhosen for her great-grandson who lives in Germany. His mother is in the military. Look at how adorable these are and just the skill level there from Linda that's how she started off and there's a picture of baby uh, you know it start, started off there and look at that it's just beautiful great job Linda and Linda's daughter is also a knitter and also a Harry Potter fan check out this Harry Potter baby blanket she's been working on I I gotta say I don't know a whole lot about Harry Potter but I this looks familiar to me very popular and she's it looks like she's um, putting it together there in uh, that's just beautiful. The, I'm told this is the House of Slytherin. Okay, uh, thank you. <laughs> and Linda also commemorated last week's historic event with this. She's working on an eclipse shawl with a pattern she got from Chickadee Knit Studio in Perrysburg. You Obviously, the colors there just scream solar eclipse, and I cannot wait to see her finished project. I'm sure that she will be finishing it up here shortly. Linda is also, I should add, Linda has traveled the world to see solar eclipse with her husband and they were just loved having this one here locally for them this year. Regular knit along contributor Pat Holt, she's been busy with bunnies. She made these for friends to put in Easter baskets. These little guys here, how cute are those? Super sweet and squishy to pack in those Easter baskets for those kiddos. Really, really cute. Pat, thank you. She's also been having fun knitting and crocheting for Nature's Nursery. She's not making squirrel underpants as requested in his April Fool's Day post, but rather nests for small animals that Nature's Nursery rescues. So she's got a big pile of them here. And I know a lot of people have been contributing to this for Nature's Nursery. I know that they have had a ton come in and there's always, you know, more baby animals to rescue and care for. So they will be put to good use. And look who's at the beach here. <laughs> Pat Hughes made this cute little succulent here. A couple of them that are just chilling out, loving the beach lifestyle, loving the, the front porch swing on these uh, beautiful weather days. Pat, you, thank you so much for sending these cute little guys for us this morning. Show us what you're working on. You can send me your project pictures. Just send them to me in a message on Amanda Faye Anchor Reporter, or you can drop them in the comments once I post this later on today, or you can email them to me at afay at wtol.com. Next on Toledo's Most Local 9 a.m. Show, we are wrapping up the 14th annual Donate Life 24-hour sit-in. We're hoping you'll say yes to organ donation. Good day is back in just a moment. Stay with us.